Dick Griffin on the trombonist and fine artist. The series I'm going to do will be story behind the paintings. Actually, it will give you the insights of how the painting developed, how it, I started, how the idea came to me, how I saw the vision, and I will show you how the structure of the painting started from the back of the painting, when the, the canvas was stretched and the framing and the whole bit. I will tell you the inside of the painting, how the ideas kind of started and then how they came to a finished product. This series is about our story behind the paintings and this series about a painting, a group of paintings I call Love in the Air. And the first painting I, I talked to you about was Love Triangle. And I said love is very strong uh, emotions and very strong in my paintings. Now, the story behind this painting and this series of paintings is uh, Danny Simmons, a good friend of mine, who's a brother of Russell Simmons, everybody knows Russell Simmons, and Danny is his brother who's an artist. So Danny and I had been in some shows together, and he liked my work. So one day I was at his gallery, and uh, he said, uh, Dick, I want you to be in a, a, a show. A friend of mine has a restaurant, and uh, he wants to have uh, some, some, you know, some paintings, and I want you to show your paintings in this restaurant. Then he did this, big paintings. I had never done any big paintings. So I said, whoa. <laughs> Let me get out here and, and start to, to buy some big paintings and try to start big paintings. Now, my dear friend and mentor named Ed Clark uh, paint big, and he has reputation for painting big and selling big paintings to a lot of famous people like Reginald Lewis and uh, just a lot of big-time collectors. So I called my friend Ed Clark over, and I had bought two, two small paintings or two big canvases. And I worked on it for about a year. And Ed would come over and look at the painting. She said, it's not finished. You know, he wouldn't tell me what to do. But he said, you haven't painted big, I can tell. And he would go back. So one day, I'm working, and I spill some paint on the canvas. And I just splash it out with my hand. And all of a sudden, I called Ed over. And he said, wow. He'd sit and talk about the painting. He enjoyed it. So as a result of that, I started to paint big, and this is one of my first series. And the story behind this is I had a, a show at Columbia University, uh, a Macy Gallery, and I took it to a framer. I took one of my paintings to a framer, and he said, Don't ask, don't show me, don't say anything to me, just uh, take these paintings, take your pictures over to my friend Ernie. I took it over to Ernie and make a long story short. Ernie bought, his boss bought 20 of these paintings this size, and uh, a corporation bought it. And now they're, they're um, on exhibit, or they're owned by this co corporation called G. Holden. And this is a part of this whole big series. Now, I have to tell you another story. When I showed these paintings, this part painting was a part of these 12 paintings that I took over to show to Ernie. But I like this painting so well till I painted another painting to swap this out. And I kept this one because this was one of my favorite. So I went out that day when I had 12 canvases, and I bought 15 canvases, 15 big canvases, and I painted them all the Love uh, 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 in the Air series. But when I took the paintings to him, I, I kind of brought this one back with me and, and left another one, and he accepted it. So the story behind this, this painting was sold, but then I guess I kind of removed it from the sale and kept it. <laughs> so this is a heavy story, but I love this painting, and it's called Love in the Air. Now, I had said something about showing you behind the canvas, so I'm going to do this. I will take it off the easel and flip it around. Most painters have seen this a lot, but this is the way I keep my record and I sign my paintings. And this is a sort of a, a store-built uh, 
frame and uh, stretcher, and it's all you know. All of this stuff is done mechanically, but I have paintings that that were built by hand. Some of the early painters did all the stretching and built the canvases. So, Love in the Air, series number twenty-four, acrylic on canvas, date. 2000, 12, 2000. The size is 40 by 60. And this is my slide number, number 203. That's my signature, which is kind of vague, but it's there. Story behind the painting.